Hey DC fans, my name's Mark. My name's Ashley. And you can find us on our YouTube channel, Nerd Therapy. DC was nice enough to send us for free a statue to review for you guys, and it is the Suicide Squad two-pack, if you will, of Joker and Harley. In this line of Suicide Squad statues, you can find Deadshot, Boomerang, Harley Quinn, the Joker, Katana, and Killer Croc. And of course, this is the new one, where it's Joker and Harley. Before we get into reviewing this beautiful statue, it's story time. This is basically the story of why we started collecting these Suicide Squad statues. We walked into a comic book shop, and of course, we were looking around, we were grabbing some comics, but this particular store had a crazy amount of collectibles. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable, and it was collectibles that we haven't seen in the store recently. On one of the walls, we actually saw the box of the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad statue. Yeah, and we were like, oh my god, where is she at? We have to see her. So we kind of looked around, we were really just kind of interested in seeing what it looked like. We saw all the pictures online. Online pictures don't ever do things justice, so you're looking around, la 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 la. Didn't see it. Couldn't no. find it. Didn't know. You know, we're not the type that we're gonna go around and asking people, where's this, <laughs> where's that? So we went up to the counter, we started checking out, and then from across the room I see this gigantic statue <laughs> on the floor in a glass case. And I could tell, oh hold on, that's the Joker. I knew exactly what it was right away. We instantly ran over to the case, we're like, we gotta check this out. Oh my god, that's all we could say. <laughs> So awesome. We were blown away by the level of detail, but more importantly, the size. Because of that size and because of the relatively uh, well-priced manner of a statue this size, we went ahead and picked it up that day. Now, if you collect DC statues, you probably have at least a bombshell statue or a Batman black and white statue. You can see here the size, the scale difference. This thing is much taller than a bombshell. And with a Batman black and white, of course, it's a lot bigger than that. So with all that said, let's get into the statue. Right off the bat, this thing actually comes in four different pieces. You get a Joker without his right arm. You get Harley without her right arm. <laughs> you get the base, and then you get Harley's arm where she's holding her bat. I want to start off by the portrait. This one is actually a little better than his original one, in my opinion. It looks different. He's not screaming and holding his hair. This one is more of a sinister look. Oh, he's kind of showing off Harley in this. The paint app and attention to detail in this portrait is really kind of what makes this one shine, in my opinion. The body is very normal. I mean, there's not a whole lot that you could say. He's just wearing a tuxedo, holding a pistol. So that's not really going to draw you into the statue. It's all about that portrait. He's wearing black and white, so it's always going to draw you right to his face. His eyes eyes are really well done. His skin tone is actually really well done too. If you look really close, it's not just white. The green hair has more than one shade of green. Of course he has the decals with the damage on his face, the star by his eye, and the J underneath it, and of course the neck tattoo of the ace card. The craziest thing about this portrait though, in my opinion, is the teeth. The teeth are never that big on a statue this size, so for them to be able to get that detail is really kind of what blew me away. And now on to Joker's counterpart, Harley. Her face is very angelic and sweet which is very different from her standalone statue, which is dark and more sinister. Much like Joker, she has decal tattoos on her face. She's also wearing her put-in choker and, of course, her prototypical red and blue pigtails. She also has her Property of Joker jacket on, along with her gun holsters and her tattered t-shirt that says Daddy's Little Monster. You can see the tattoo on her stomach that says Lucky You and her belt that wraps around her little booty shorts. She's wearing her fishnet stockings that are actual fishnets that are not painted on and then underneath you can see the tattoos on her legs. She's wearing her stiletto tennis shoe boots and then she has her baseball bat in her right hand that has good night and all of her different writings all over it. I think what they were trying to portray in this statue was definitely a couple. Definitely. This is love. He's really sinister and crazy where she's sort of the sweet Harley that she can be. Mm -hmm. It is a big difference from the standalone of both of these statues. Yeah. So I think it really kind of shows their relationship. Mm -hmm. I think the look on Joker's face is like, I dare you to come after my woman. Yeah, I, I agree. One thing that I'm really impressed with these Suicide Squad statues is the base. I love the dog tag. I love the dog tag too, and I love how Suicide Squad is raised off of it. Yeah, it's just really fantastic. I think this whole line of statues that they have, they're crazy detailed compared to a lot of stuff that they do. Not only because it's a good statue and it's a good sculpt, but more importantly, it's leveled. It has different levels of material, which is one thing I really, really like about this. With Harley's jacket and her standalone statue, it actually is leveled. It, it feels to be its own material. It is. It's pliable and bendable. When this one, it's not. It's actually a part of the skull. Overall, I'm just really impressed with these. The detail on these things are fantastic. Most importantly, the portrait. Of course, I'm always very kind of keen on making sure they have a good portrait. These do. Whenever you see things online, especially statues, you can never tell if the portrait is actually good. I don't want to say good, actually. I just want to say sometimes you have to see things in person, and I really think this whole line of Suicide Squad statues kind of fall into that. I agree, and I think that the price point for these is just great, and if you're going to go out and you want to spend money on a statue, definitely look for these because they are really fantastic yeah. done. One is about $120, and then if you want two, of course, like this, it's about $200. Understandable, about anything in the premium line of DC collectibles, that's about what it's going to cost you. I don't know how they do this. I can't figure it out. 
they just give you so much for so little nowadays. They do. It's, it, it's fantastic. Crazy. So that was our look at this beautifully crafted Harley and Joker from Suicide Squad statue. I love the design of these. I love the sculpt. I love the detail. It's really a fantastic statue. So happy Singles Awareness Day. And remember, you can find us on YouTube at Nerd Therapy. And thank you once again to DC for sending us this beautiful statue to review. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.